Jack, I think uh, Michael Ortiz is extremely courageous because I think a lot of editors in chief probably wouldn't have wanted to tackle uh, this issue because they figured, you know what, if we bring, if I bring this out, I'm going to come under um, criticism and attack, and people are going to get mad at me as a messenger. But he, as a journalist, decided that this story needs to be told regardless of what um, recriminations come his way. And I, and I think he really is a hero of the story because he had the guts and the, the courage to bring this out into the, into the media. And now, actually, millions of people are going to know about this story. And basically, you got to give Michael Ortiz the credit for that. Oh, yeah, I give him all the credit. Um, <clears throat> he will never shy away from controversy. I don't think that any journalist will. All the most important uh, journalism stories are wrought with controversy. And the fact that he released this article, even though it's a small college publication, they were allowed to release it without Hofstra um, viewing it because there are separate entities from Hofstra. They're a campus-run student organization. So I think that no way was he expecting this sort of media attention from this. He was expecting attention. He was expecting a backlash of people, but not nearly in the way that it's happened. And I think he's both afraid and excited of the attention that he's getting. Yeah, Taylor, I think that, um, like I said, I, I, I don't think we've scratched the surface on a lot of things which, which is going to come out in the future about this whole uh, scandal in Hofstra. I believe there's always more that meets the eye to every story, but um, what I believe Michael did was he exposed the darkness that's in the campus right now, and what that allows, it, it allows for certain student bodies, like other fraternities or sororities, or just individuals, to come out and be that bright star that shines through that darkness that shows that there are good people and there are people that are involved in Greek life that can do the right thing and that because one group of people does one thing that doesn't make it the standard. So I believe in, a, in the following months there'll be much more that comes out and both good and bad. So. All right, um, I think we'll end that segment there. We want to thank uh, Zach and Taylor for uh, bringing this story to light um, and we're going to touch on this a lot more in the future. And, I'm um, Messina Michelle. Thanks for uh, coming by and, uh, and joining us. And uh, let's keep uh, working on the bullying a lot more in the future. And let's get a lot more students here. And uh, let's keep the conversation, the awareness going stronger than ever.